Hey, it's Tom from Tom's Tunes. Today, we're gonna cover the topic of gluing woven vinyl pontoon flooring to an aluminum deck. This has been a hot topic. I haven't talked about it yet. Today's the day I'm gonna show you. And what we're gonna be working on is not a full lower deck, but instead, we're gonna be putting aluminum sheeting down and showing you how to adhere the same woven vinyl to the aluminum sheeting, just like you would if you're doing an aluminum decked boat. That's our project. So this is kind of a wild upper deck. We have it all disassembled. And what they've done is there's foam sheeting, a pretty high density foam in there. And that's essentially the structure or the floor of the upper deck. And then they lay on sheets of this real flimsy fiberglass that they glued the carpet to. So if I were gonna re-glue the carpet to this, I would have to get this uh, carpet backing and glue completely off to where we have as clean of a surface as this side. Not super easy task, but I've got some aluminum sheeting that's the same thickness. I had some laying around. We just went and had it sheared to size. This is actually gonna be sturdier in my opinion, not add a whole lot of weight, if any at all, and it's going to give us the chance to show you how we glue this same vinyl to aluminum, just like you would do on a tracker or fisher or other boat that has an aluminum deck. So first things first, I'm going to get all of this pulled off, and then I'm going to go ahead and secure my aluminum sheets down. If you're working on an aluminum decked boat at home that had carpet, you need to get it cleaned down. You got to get all of this stuff. This is aluminum here. You need to get everything cleaned off to where you have bare aluminum. And what I've heard from talking to folks who have done it, quite a few, a hot power washer sounds like it's the best bet. It's not fun, it's not easy, and it's super time consuming, but that's gonna be your best friend if you need to clear a whole 20, 24, 28 foot aluminum deck. Sanding it might work, but it's gonna smear a lot of that adhesive. So a hot power washer, working little areas at a time is going to get back down to bare aluminum because that's what we need for the adhesive we're using and this is the contact cement or what you'll hear it called is a solvent based adhesive so the way that this glue works is there is solvent mixed in here it's real liquidy it's almost like a paint consistency the solvent is keeping the parts of the glue that stick together apart so what has to happen We'll show you the whole process of this is I have to apply this to both pieces of material. So the deck and the vinyl, and then I have to wait for them to almost dry. Then I stick them together and we're going to work in small sections. We're going to start on one side and then we'll start working our way in about one to two foot increments across the entire deck. It moves pretty quick once you apply it and let it dry, but we have to let the solvent dry or evaporate out of the glue and that's what will allow the two pieces to stick together. And it says right here, permanent bond on contact. That's no joke. When you stick it together, it's stuck. So we've got our aluminum sheeting on. Long term, this is gonna be stronger. It's not gonna crack. It's way less flexible than the sheets of fiberglass. So. Not only does it give us something better to adhere to, but it is gonna be sturdier. What we're gonna do now, I'm just gonna go through, I'm just gonna scuff this up with a sander and just to give that glue something better to grab onto rather than just that shiny, you can see the sheen, smooth aluminum. So we'll just rough that up a little bit and then we'll do a sample of what we're gonna do for the vinyl to a scrap piece of aluminum. I always recommend folks do that anyway so you can learn how the process and the timing works. Before we go any further, this is the tan woven vinyl from pontoonstuff.com. Pontoon Stuff did the research and you can use a solvent based adhesive like Weldwood. I got this from Home Depot down the road. You can totally use this. There are some vinyl manufacturers that you cannot use a solvent based adhesive on. You need to do that homework and you do that research, reach out to the company or whoever's selling it because from what I've heard, the solvent can eat away at the felt, the vinyl, the cushion, whatever it is. But in the case 
Obviously I'm biased, but you can get the pontoon stuff vinyl, use solvent-based adhesive on your aluminum deck and you'll be just fine. Keep that in mind. So what I have here is just a scrap. I cleaned this piece of aluminum off. I've got a piece of the same vinyl we're using. I just wanna show you that time that it takes and what this looks like when it's ready to stick together. So I'm gonna use a paintbrush just like we applied it on the upper deck. And I'm just gonna brush this on. And then I'm also gonna brush it on the vinyl because if I just stick these together, nothing happens it actually comes right off however when i get that adhesive on the vinyl too the vinyl is a little trickier to tell you know if you get it on really thick it's going to absorb into that felt and you're going to see that dark spot in the middle here i know i've spread it everywhere else too and the key is just trying to get it as even as possible and then what i like to do is I'm gonna look at my piece of aluminum and you can kind of see where that adhesive is. I'm gonna get that a little better. You can see where it's sparkling there, sheeny. That's a little bit thicker. So if I touch that right now, it comes off and it barely even sticks to my fingers. It's mostly just wet. And if it's wet, that's gonna to be too wet. So that's gonna tell me where you can see right here where it's kind of slick looking. I can just smooth that out real quick with my finger and that's gonna get rid of that solvent and that's gonna allow things to stick together. I'm gonna to feel my, my vinyl. There's a little bit of tack there. You can see my fingers kind of stick together and then pull apart. So I can wait a pretty good amount of time. This, if I touch both, nothing feels wet, maybe a little tacky, but not wet. That's the key is it can't be wet. Now, when I join these together, that's really stuck on there. So if I really work at it, I could peel that back. Just, I just stuck them together. But I bet if I leave this here, you know, put some weight on it, roll it out, that's gonna be really hard to get apart. But I just wanna show you, I mean, look, if I pull really hard, I might be able to peel it. But it's, you can see the adhesion happening there where they're sticking together. That I push back down. It's gonna be stuck like that really well. I'm not worried about this peeling up at all. You can see me working against it and it's not going anywhere. So that's the process. It's, a, it's great to test this out on a scrap piece of aluminum with a scrap piece of vinyl so you can get that timing because you'll find if you stuck it together too soon, you'd be able to just peel this right off and it would come right apart if that solvent had, hadn't evaporated out. Hope that helps seeing how that works. Test this before you do your whole floor, please. Save yourself that hassle. Learn the timing, and it's going to make your job a lot easier. It's a good look. So what we're going to do is, as you see, we've got clamps. We're going to roll this back. We're going to put the adhesive on the aluminum, about a foot or 16 inches worth. And we're going to do the same thing. I've marked on the bottom of this, this line shows me where it's going to line up with the edge. So I can do about 16 inches of glue down the vinyl, and then we'll let them tack up and stick them together, and then they'll be stuck. And I suppose you could use a paint roller. I've just had good luck with the paint brush because I can really work it back and forth and get rid of any thick spots uh, and smooth those out. Because if you get too thick on there and you have too much solvent in there, it takes a really long time to evaporate and you miss that whole timing of the solvent-based adhesive. So we're gonna go ahead and get this started so we can get this done. This is super, uh, super flammable stuff. It'll tell you all over the, the bottle. So make sure you got nothing around that uh, could spark or anything. And then we have a vent fan going and we're gonna wear respirators because this is super, super stinky. Probably not good for you if it smells that bad kind I of thing. I should probably leave the premise then. We've got it on the vinyl, we've got it on the aluminum. And what I'm doing is just going through and making sure there's no wet, wet spots because it should barely stick to my finger. It shouldn't be real wet, it should be tacky to the touch. So if you do it right, you wait long enough, that sweet spot, you let the stuff on the aluminum dry to where it's not wet 
on your finger is just tacky. Now you lift up on this and it's really not going anywhere. It's really stuck down. You know, we didn't try to get right on the very edge necessarily perfect because the deck trim is going to cover that rather than have a whole bunch of excess adhesive everywhere. So, but if you lift up here, that's not going anywhere. That's stuck down really, really well. So let's move on to the next part. We're gonna roll this back and just work our way forward as we go doing that same thing. We, we won't need the clamps anymore. We'll just keep applying adhesive to the aluminum and to the vinyl, and then we'll work together to push everything down when everything's ready to set. Put my mask back on, let's get to work. So we've got it worked all the way down. Everything is good and stuck. I'm gonna do just like we do on any of them. I'm gonna take my razor, good sharp razor, go around, trim the excess. And then if there's any spots that are peeling, this is gonna get a deck trim that's gonna help hold everything down. But if you have a big corner that's peeling back, we had that on one side, you just reapply more of that solvent-based adhesive. The solvent will break up the glue, reactivate it, and allow you to re-adhere it. We had to do that on one spot, not uncommon. You might miss a spot. Waited too long, didn't wait long enough. Who knows, I'm gonna trim this out and then it's ready to go back together and go up on the boat. This floor is on, on this upper deck. The way you saw us start on one end, roll it back and just work our way forward in sections. We did about 36 inch sections. That is how I would prefer to do it on any size boat, whether it's 20 foot or 28 foot. You're just gonna keep working in chunks with the two of us working. How long did that take us? About an hour. An hour of it gluing. This is 10 foot long. So it might take you a couple hours. If you get a few people working at it, you get it down, it's gonna go a lot faster. But this is ready to go now. We can start working on it pretty much right away once that adhesive is stuck together with the two materials. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, share this with any groups you're in or any of your friends who are working on their pontoon boats. Give me See a you dance. Later. Huh? Give me a dance. Very good. Thanks. You're welcome.